Hi, everyone. It is Lauren Gates with Airway Health Solutions, and I am so excited tonight because we just had a, a casual conversation. I have Brittany uh, Sierra and Carice Laguerre on with me because we were discussing our new course, and I said, let's discuss it with everybody because there's so much excitement. But just a, a quick overview of our excitement, we can hardly contain ourselves, is uh, number one, Airway Health Solutions is introducing an oral facial myofunctional therapy course for the hygienist. And I am so excited to have these two mentors, uh, Brittany and Carice, that um, they run the course, they're the presenters, it's their content, they're registered dental hygienists, they're um, a certified oral myologist and an oral facial uh, myofunctional therapist. They are practicing, they're walking the walk and talking the talk. So I figured let's talk a little bit about your course and why we, uh, the three of us, think it's so valuable for the hygienist and also for the dentist practice. Absolutely. Um, I mean, I think first of all, starting off, your clients, you know, the doctors that we have on the team that are learning, you know, Dr. Moralia's techniques, as Dr. Moralia will stress in those courses, is how important the component of myofunctional therapy is. So, I mean, it who would, wouldn't pass up, you know, having that opportunity to have that hygienist practicing in the office with those patients, being able to provide them that myofunctional therapy instead of having to refer out. You know, we always want to keep things in our four walls if possible. So I'm super excited that we're able to offer that option, you know, for your doctors. Thank you. And just one thing to add to that, and then I'll get your comments, Carice, is a lot of the doctors that graduate from our program don't have access to care. They don't have oral facial myofunctional therapists. So that's why we brought you on, Brittany, as a teleservice. Um, but we always, we think it's just better if we can to work one-on-one -on -one with the patients. That's ideal. So how exciting. And Carice, um, tell us a little bit about your excitement of joining AHS and all your knowledge that you can bring. I am super thrilled. I have direct experience building a practice and working from within the dental office. So I definitely know how valuable it can be and how the patients love the convenience of it. So it's a fantastic thing. And just like you mentioned, Lauren, I think it's incredible to have an increase in the access of care because we know that there is a large portion of the population that is not being serviced currently. And to have that in office, I mean, it really is a big differentiator or as far as, you know, different practices. Absolutely. Yeah, and it's a total, you know, win-win for the doctor, for the hygienist, for the patient, for everybody. Absolutely. And also because I went through the, um, the AOMT training back in 2013, but I didn't practice myofunctional therapy. So I don't consider myself a myofunctional therapist like you guys who are walking the walk and talking the talk. But I can only imagine if I went that route the value, um, you know, what you do every day. Can you explain to us how it feels to be a hygienist and an OMT? Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, and I'm sure you have the same feeling, Lauren, when you took your course with the AOMT, like literally when you're sitting there learning all this information and soaking everything in and like a thousand bajillion light bulbs are going off and you can't wait, like you're so excited to get back, start implementing this all. And you're also thinking about the patients that have sat in your chair before that you didn't see any of this stuff on because we don't learn it in hygiene school and really truly being able to connect those dots and get that patient to, you know, better, you know, whole body wellness and being able to connect dots for the patients too, where they might have this feeling in their gut, like something's not right. And being able to come in there and, you know, work together with these doctors. And that's why I'm so excited about this course for these hygienists that you already have a doctor that is a part of this all. They're already, you know, engaged and learning these exp expansive techniques because, you know, for me, I didn't do hygiene um, and myo in the same practice. So I'm so excited for these hygienists because to have your doctor support all of that, and it's just going to be an amazing opportunity for everybody involved. Absolutely. And you guys help with the workflows, right? Because a lot of times I, I feel like everyone's inspired and then they get kind of stuck in the how-to part. So mm -hmm. maybe, Carice, you can explain a little bit about, you know, the workflow and how, because you do, you know, you're teaching what you do. So maybe touch upon that a little bit. 
Exactly. That's the biggest part. It's like if we went to dental school or dental hygiene school and only got, you know, the clinical that we read in a book, but never actually got to go to clinic and practice. We never worked on patients. And then we're like, you know, okay, well now just go find a job. I think the best part of this course, which makes me so very excited is the implementation of how to actually bring this back to the office Mm -hmm. and start getting a return on that investment right away. I think this is such a phenomenal aspect to have because, you know, we've all taken the introductory courses and having the introductory course is amazing. So much didactic um, knowledge, but the clinical part, knowing what to do, what the next steps are to implement it clinically is so critical. So I know our course is two days and it's two intense days, right? We kind of have, you're going to be with us for like 10 hours. So wear something comfy and make sure you have your period ready. But um, (laughs) tell us a little bit about in two days, how we can implement this so they can learn how. I know you have follow-up sessions as well on Facebook and community and, and all that. So tell us a little bit about um, you know, what they should expect after the two days and then the support you, you also offer after. Yeah. Um, you know, I feel like the first day that, that we go through would definitely be more, um, educational in a sense of like getting the background and just building that solid foundation. And then that second day is where we get more into the hands-on. I mean, the you know, that very first thing we're going to do the second day in the morning and getting into learning all the exercises, which hello, if we're going to be my functional therapist, we have to absolutely learn what the exercises are and being able to do that with everybody on screen and watching everybody do it and being able to be like in the moment and they're able to ask questions and then following up that day, you know, getting more into how to incorporate, incorporate it into your you know, daily routine um, as a hygienist and with your doctor and troubleshooting techniques, because that also is one of the biggest thing, right? You have all these tools in your toolbox, and then you get that patient that isn't your basic myo, like, let's just follow these steps and life's going to be great. No, we need to have, you know, uh, tools to use to get through those roadblocks. And having that all in the same day with the exercises and the implementation part, it's just going to resonate a lot, a lot better, in my opinion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And after the two days, it's going to be so mind blowing that you're going to need some guidance going forward, right? You're going to have questions. You're going to be like, oh, I forgot to ask this. And we are so excited to be able to have a private Facebook group where we'll be able to go live, answer questions, and really be there to support as these practices are trying to implement all of the things that they've learned. So for me, I'm big also on your return of investment of energy, of time, of money. So to me, when we decided to collaborate, it sounded like a win-win because the hygienist is investing in herself and her education. The doctor is investing in the practice and there'll be a return on investment from new procedures being built, mm-hmm. right? So I, I don't see any downfall in it. No, no like it's a total win-win for everybody. It's a and win-win, right? Yeah. And then tell us a little bit about the social media component that you add, because I found this very compelling because all of my marketing is, is pretty much now social media. So tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I think it's really important that everybody develops an online presence. And I know that there's some people that are like, I'm never going to do that. I'm never going to have a Facebook, blah, blah, blah. You have to. I mean, it's literally the world we live in and having the, you know, the strategies and the tools to know, you know, how to increase that SEO, right? That search engine optimization. Again, totally not something we learn in hygiene school. And you can go and take a course for that, but we're going to offer it, which is awesome. You know, Chris and I, like Lauren said, have walked the walk, done all of that. And, you know, we've probably tried every platform of social media and Chris and I, the thing is, is she does better with some platforms when I do better, better with others. So being able to combine our experience um, with everything, you know, you're going to get literally the, the best of both worlds. Wonderful. And I have to say, you guys are just really a pleasure, like just to work with and just so, um, you know, so caring and so passionate that that comes across and that energy will come across to our attendees. So that's why it was an instant 
uh, puzzle piece fit like we advertised um, for a match with Airway Health Solutions. So any final thoughts or any um, last words of why uh, people should take your course if they may be contemplating it? <laughs> Yeah, um, I wanted to say one more thing about the, the marketing. Sure. The other really great part about marketing is how it's going to bring in people outside of your practice, right? There's not a lot of dentists practicing airway expansive, you know, orthodontics, orthopedics. Um, so to be able to have a way to bring in patients, I mean, when you want to know something, what's the first thing you do? You type it in Google, right? And yeah. so we're going to make sure that what they're typing in is going to bring them to your website. So I think that that's super important. And Chris, I'm sorry if I kind of interrupted you. So <laughs> no, that's because everyone wants new patients. I mean, that's what makes the world go around, right? Exactly. No. And it, it helps them too, the patients as well, because, you know, they know that there's something missing there. And then, you know, your practice is going to be the missing puzzle piece that will help them achieve optimal wellness. Um, I think just to touch on what you asked, Lauren, about any final words of, you know, anything, I am just very, very excited, <laughs> very, very excited to be doing this. I think it is a real different approach because I do honestly believe that, you know, learning what it is, myofunctional therapy or oral facial myofunctional therapy, learning what it is and, you know, getting like the basics on how to do it is one thing, but being able to do this dynamic course where you're going to learn how to implement it in the office is like a whole nother level. So I'm super excited. Thanks guys. <laughs> uh, come to our website, airwayhealthsolutions.com. I'll post it and we'll see you soon. Take care. Bye everybody. Bye. Bye.